All right, folks, how y'all doing in the land of grills? Almost 650 degrees on the Chargoler Acorn Junior, folks. We're gonna do some cast iron seared steak tonight. And I tell you what, we're gonna talk a little bit about Kamados, especially about smaller Kamados and how well they work when it comes to high heat. And they also have the ability to do low and slow. And when it comes to saving charcoal or being a charcoal miser, these things are really it. So <laughs> tell you what, let's get started. All right, so I've had this about two years now. Remember, I store this inside. Obviously, I have a lot of other choices, so I don't cook on it every day. I always liked the handles on here, and the hinge is uh, very similar to its big brother, char griller. Remember, I have the char griller. I've had the regular char griller acorn and the auto kamato, which I like very much. And what I'm impressed with this is that the char griller actually makes a diffuser place so you can do low and slow. And it's got the patented ash cleaner on the bottom. Works very, very nice. I've had no issues. I like the way the vent works on the top. The vent on the bottom today, you can see we're just looking for hot. And then Chargler gets it. Cast iron all the way. Take a look at the steak. All right, so there's our steak. If you watch my channel, Tom Horseman YouTube, you know that I have this thing for chuck eye steaks, folks. If you can find them, I uh, put them right up there with ribeye. And then today, we're just going with them. Grill, 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 grill Mates Montreal Steak Seasoning. It is phenomenal. Get it on that cast iron, on that char grill, Acorn Jr. As you can see, almost 700 degrees. Uh, acorns uh, <laughs> or Kamados do a great job of that. And uh, this one, no exception. Uh, I do have leftover charcoal, which is B&B. &B. Then I put a couple chunks of the uh, Jealous Devil on there. Tell you what, let's take a look on how I lighted it. All right, folks, I will admit I do not use this all the time. Grill blazer, grill gun. But when I, it's a quarter to six. And I want to do charcoal fired steaks. And I don't have time. <laughs> this is what I, this is what I shoot for. <laughs> just like that all right almost 700 already put our steak on cast iron now obviously i can't even use regular grill spray but the stuff from weber as you can see does not does not flare up look like ribeye and those two 12 bucks Two minutes give you a look right, smokes rolling let's take a look it has been two minutes haha <laughs> look at that we will keep on going get, gotta get this back where it was give you a look see very nice so a nice thing about these commodities even at high heat is that you could close down if you thought it was going too fast you could just do one of these and close it down a little bit. Although I, I, I want to keep on going. Uh, that's also also a great way. If anything saves charcoal better than a uh, Kamado, I'll tell you what, that's what it does. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> I have moved them around. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're doing really nice here. Steaks are done, in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take them off, close down bottom vent, top vent, save a lot of charcoal that way. All right, there we go. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Oh man, and so good. Everybody knows about Montreal steak seasoning. I really like that stuff. Char griller, Acorn Jr. Chuck Eye Steak. Tom Horseman YouTube. What a combination. <laughs> Thumbs up. Leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.